they added to debt while they were in government. Question number four, the Honourable Todd McLean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister on Foreign Affairs, does he stand by all of his statements? The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, yes, in their context. The context. <laughs> to the Minister, does he stand by his statement on the nation that there is no evidence Russia was involved in the shooting down of Malaysian Airlines Flight 17 and that there was no Russian interference in the US presidential elections in 2016? Mr Speaker, both those statements are palpably demonstrably false, and I'm asking the member to read the transcript with accuracy. <laughs> Mr Speaker, why has he not joined almost every other Western foreign minister and publicly criticised Russia for their involvement in the nerve agent attack on British soil? Mr Speaker, we have done that on countless occasions so much that the Prime Minister of the UK, Theresa May, contacted us to thank us for our support uh, and, uh, and other members of her cabinet as well. Uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. I I seek, point of order, the Honourable Todd McLean. I seek leave to table a statement from Friday of last week uh, that has uh, only quotations from the Prime Minister in it, not the Minister of Foreign Affairs criticising the yeah, Russian is government. Is a member seriously suggesting that he wants to table a government press statement? <laughs> well, point of order, no, Mr. Speaker. Will, speaking of the point no, of order, no, the, I no, would the have member, thought it was no, quite no, clear. The no, the member will resume his seat. Um, the member knows that that's out of order and unacceptable to the House, and if he tries again, I'll regard him as trifling with the chair. The Honourable Todd McLean. Well, point of order, Mr Speaker. It's a new point of order. A I seek leave to table a statement that's on the government website uh, that has been changed since the Prime Minister released it on Friday of last week. Oh. Is there any objection to that? <laughs> Is yeah, the, the answer is yes. Speaking, point of, speaking, speaking to the point, there is point of order. A point of order, the right order was the, the difficulty with the proposition being put by Mr McClay is that the press statement was a joint press statement between the Prime Minister and myself. Well, any further supplementaries? Yes. <laughs> point of order, Mr Speaker. No, you're not it was, it was turned down. It was turned down, thank you. Uh, to the Minister. Does he stand by his public statement that Russia and Australia are the same? <laughs> Mr Speaker, again, words do matter. And again, if that member reads the transcript and strives to uh, at, least get, at least get to uh, form a six English language, he'll understand I said nothing of the sort. What I said was that we have differences and a range of differences with countries all over the world. And if we were to take them to extreme, we would not be trading with anyone and our people would be so much poorer off. All I ask to be by others as well is to be quoted properly. To the Minister, can he explain to the House his preoccupation, in fact, his infatuation with Russia? Oh. Order, order. Oh. Me, I'm, me, I'm happy with that. Speak, no, the, 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 quest, the, quest, the question is out of order. Can I just say, Mr Speaker... No, no, is it a point of order? Mr. It is a point of order, Mr Speaker. Well, if you want me to protest about... Uh, those statements, I want to just say this, that in March the 27th last year, this order, question, order, this order. issue was... I, sorry, I'm, I'm going to interrupt the Deputy yeah. Prime Minister for a minute to remind members on my left that points of order are heard in silence. If they, if they think that they are points of order, when they are completed, they can say so, but not during them. The Mr. Right Mr. Honourable Winston Mr. Peters. Mr Speaker, when this was said last year in March, do we, want a, do, uh, do we want to do a deal with Russia? Yes, we do. Or National will push for greater access for Kiwi business to Russia. That's August the 22nd, just before the election. That's hardly being in love with any country but trade itself. Point, point, point. Speaker. Right. Point well, I'm, I've got a point of order to rule on first, I think, and I am going to rule that there's not a point of order there. Mm -hmm. And the member might have put some... There's no such thing as the right honourable gentleman knows well. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, Ms. Bennett, would you like to stand up and say that out loud? If you'd like me to, Mr. Speaker. Well, I, I'm, I'm just 
trying to trying to make clear whether the member has a point she'd like to make yep, or whether point, she just Mr. had to contribute by an objection in front of the lead, the shadow leader of the house. Well, just my point, um, Mr. Speaker, would have been that we shut down pretty quickly if you think it's not a point of order. Um, in fact, very quickly on the side of this house. Well, I I I thank the member for her advice, and if she'd been quieter to start with, it would have been shut down earlier. The right honourable Jerry Brown, Mr. Speaker. Point of order. The, right, the Honourable Jerry Brown. Sorry, I promoted the member. That's right. Well, it's an unusual thing for me these days. But, um, <laughs> so I, uh, I thank you. Now, look, um, you've just ruled out the question by the Honourable uh, Todd McClay yes. uh, and said that it was out of order. Yes. But how can it be out of order to ask a foreign minister about the uh, emphasis that they put on a particular nation? And, and the member. Uh, well, the member heard, no, well, well, these are the perfect example of what Ms Bennett was just talking about, the, yep. the deputy leader. Okay. Um, it, it would seem to me that when it is a subject that is uh, particularly written into a coalition agreement uh, that has a certain amount of uh, uh, obligation on the, the collective government uh, to deal with this country, that it's not unreasonable to question the Foreign Minister about, one, lack of statements, and two, what appears to be quite a preoccupation in changing New Zealand's position with regard to Russia. And, and I'm going to remind the member of Standing Order uh, 380, and I suggest that he have a, have a good look at it. And I, um, and the National Party will have an additional two supplementaries uh, now because of the interjection from my right. Uh, but but I, think, I think Mr Brownlee knows as well as Mr McClay that that question, that supplementary question, was out of order. Are there any further supplementaries, Mr McLean? Right. Question number five, the Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of...